what? In your you're podcast? the baseball player? Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Take a nap. I came in. Was <laughs> oh, that your new fucking thing? When you like, take a nap. Take okay, a nap. You need I a like fucking it. nap. Take a nap. Jesus, you start. Right, we love. I would love to take a nap. Yeah, we're, the mics are hot right now. Sorry for the for not warning you beforehand, but uh, okay. Were are you guys talking about your new shitty podcasting setup? Yeah, no, it, it's it is absolute garbage compared to this. Yeah. I mean, nice. Well, it's, I know. A, it, it's like if we were going to record on a computer in the bathroom of this place. Mm-hmm. That's nice. basically I filled in for a buddy of mine, Alex Pavone, mm-hmm. and then I was just it was just fun, and he was going, he went away to Italy for three weeks, and then yeah. we like just come right. back on every week, and it was just fun to do. And we uh, the name of the show is Netflix Campfire, where they watch a TV show and then don't talk about it at all. Pretty much. Yeah. So we don't know anything playing? about movies, so... No. Uh, so the show's playing during the podcast? No, no we no, watched no. the show first. Oh, okay. But we stopped doing that because we're too lazy to do that even. So it's really just... Uh, uh, it was an excuse to get into pot. We didn't know what the fuck it was going to be. And I, I should have just made it like... Should have just fucking called it podcast. I mean, it like <laughs> it would have been a better name for it. That should be... An, has, has, has anyone had a name of a show called podcast? I'm sure they have. Uh, yeah, that's probably. Hilarious. If I'm you look sure at the list have. of podcasts, like every possible word has been used to describe a podcast or to name a podcast. And I should so. say I shit on the f- I shit on it by saying that it was like recording in the bathroom of this place, but honestly, the bathroom's a lot nicer. It's in there. You a gotta start with your than... iPhone, dude. Yeah, start with your iPhone. All right. So, <laughs> so you can yell at your intern twenty years from now about how you started on a really awful. I'm not having an intern twenty years from now. <laughs> All right, I know that for a fact. Well, maybe oh, six I'll years. I'll still be the intern. Uh, <laughs> You're the intern intern. With, yeah, yeah. well. I went to the comics comic, the intern intern. You guys just yeah. get some real delusional schlub to do some stuff for you. Not that you're a delusional sl- schlub, but. No, sure no. The schlub would have to be so delusional just to follow you around. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is. Everybody who gets into comedy is delusional. Yeah. I'm not. See, I don't have delusion, and that's why I think about quitting every day. Yeah, so do I. So, <laughs> so does. Uh, so you're not delusional. Yeah, but you Rose don't. Button. I mean, as you long don't. as you don't quit, you've kept the delusion alive for I another tell, day. I tell people I'm six months away from quitting every day. Every day I get another mm-hmm. six. I'm like six months. I'm gone. Just I'm slowly done. tapering off. But, I'm ne- but it, uh, yeah. it never changes. I'm always six months away. So. I Google grad schools every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, you ever, should. If you ever, <laughs> uh, whenever I have like a crisis, I always start googling like uh, I'm such and such age and I don't know what to do. And Google just suggests every age possible. Like I'm 26 and I don't know what to do. Oh, we I'm should. 27. I don't know what to do. This I'm 28. Say, I don't know. Does what it to give do. what to do? It gives a lot of bullshit philosophy stuff like, yeah, well, you gotta just do what you love, man. Oh, it doesn't say, like, yeah, join a no, plumber's union. No actual advice, yeah. <laughs> you really should. Plumber's <laughs> union. <laughs> Something like that. Those are your fucking custom That's Google responses plan. right there. <laughs> That's the backup. I can't. I fucking, I'm a mechanic. Are you kidding me? Uh, you got the right. ass for it. Same shit, though, right? <clears throat> okay. He does so have the ass what's, for what's, uh, it. Can what's we, your can backup plan? fucking host the show, you cunts? Sorry. Wait, you're hosting? I thought I was hosting. I'm in the captain's chair. All right. Uh... <laughs> Or is this, I guess, the wrap-up show? This is the wrap-up show. People are probably show. shitting on it as yeah. we uh, speak. But uh, Rosebud Baker, first time on the show. How'd you feel? Did I suck? No, you were great. Yeah, you did really well. And you weren't objectified once during the episode, which I think is like a record. It's because I'm wearing a... And mom shirt. Fucking <laughs> mom shirt. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. first thing Scopo said was, why do your tits look weird? Yeah. When I walked in. She came in, in I was like, tits look really... She has nice tits. I've never seen them, but like, you always look. I, yeah, you I look. couldn't have guessed she had tits. Yeah, you look. No, I cover them up. Well, yeah. we covered the objectification part. I sh- she got that done today, so that's Yeah, it. so good for me. Mm-hmm. So Does it happen to you a lot on podcasts? Like you, you sit on a show and then it all automatically becomes like, hey. I don't get uh, objectified. I don't get catcalled. I n- it never fucking happens for me. Why not? I don't know. I don't give off the vibe. I don't. Th- I, I, maybe, I mean, yeah. not to say that anybody who's like walks down the street is like asking for it. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's something about me that uh, makes people think that I'm about to snap. Um, it's your face. That's why I never. It's my face. That's why face. I never said hi to you. I give off a vibe though. that I'm gonna snap. You're gonna fucking kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pick up, picked up yeah, on it pretty quickly. Yeah. That's yeah. why you two are a good fit because you always look like you're about to snap. Also. Yeah, I'm we always, both have I'm, a lot of anger. <laughs> I'm always about to snap in life. Yeah. So, yeah. So how was your first time? Did you like it? I loved it. Are you yeah. kidding me? I loved it. It was good. great. Yeah. I had good, a lot of fun. Good time on here. For, if you guys don't know her, she's a very funny comedian. Hasn't been doing it, you know, what, three years, but you're you're fucking killing it. I always say you're going to be famous. Thanks. You're the only person who says the that, only, but thank you. Literally the only person, and don't take my word for anything. <laughs> yeah. Has, have you confirmed I, any? Have you predicted anyone else's success? Yeah, Pete Davidson. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, shit. Dude, he was famous before we even started comedy. No, I saw Pete when he was, like, 16, and I was like, watch. I was like, this kid's going to bomb. Full house, and probably, mm-hmm. fuck, this kid's going to bomb. Why are they putting him up? Yeah, and he but just then you heard the 9-11 dead, dead closer. Oh, whoops. Wait, no, we're going to mute that out okay. from the final cut. Do you? 
No, I mean uh, that's the truth. I mean, I, I watched an old. Cl- I remember when I first started comedy. I remember like, oh, who are like some hot shots right now? His name came up. I look up a clip of his, and uh, you know he's in the he's in the loony bin in Staten Island, and mm-hmm. he's he uh, he's doing some like cute stuff up top, and then dead dad joke. They love him. Yeah. And you know it's like uh, yeah, one thing about Pete kind of makes me wish my, wish my dad was dead. One you know? thing about Pete was I have a joke was... about my dad being dead. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he, he got to win over the crowd. This We've already covered proves. the fact that I hate my family. So sorry. Go ahead, Scopo. I mean, yeah. you guys are just you, whatever Bobby talks about talking over. You guys just fuck that. You're. Like- Buddy. That's good. Uh, no, oh, so you're hosting. It, it's over. Yeah. Um, I, I so think I'd be a better host, to be honest. Take it over, Depot. Can we switch seats? No. Then it's not going to feel right. Then you host this time, I'll host the next oh, one. It's too much. Laura will host the next one it's after that. too much He's right too now. much, and it's like, dude, shut the fuck Gets up. a little and too confident. Go. Yeah, your confidence is off the charts right My now. My confidence. Whatever the fuck it is. It's shitty. You got to turn um, it down. Turn it down. Relax. All right. Cool. This is my first time chilling. expressing my opinions to the audience. I'm excited. Well, you got a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> right Jeez. off the bat. Do you write for Jezebel? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. All right. So, you know, for the first time, did you, what, what did you think about it? Was it fun? You've asked for this three times already. I'm trying to get I, more. I had a ton of fun. <laughs> uh, I was a little worried about uh, keeping up, but I and I don't think I did. But I think uh, I, I at least didn't fucking embarrass myself too much. That's so. Big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't say anything I really regret too much. The Velvet which... Hammer was n- will not be listening to this, so don't yeah, worry yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, thank God. You guys don't know. Can we say who no, you know? No, let's not go into that right, right now. Come it's on. Fun. It's fun. It's fun. The ve- just look up the Velvet Hammer. Yeah. And then you'll you'll know who we we're and talking And you'll know about. my lineage. Is that you'll your stripper that name image. or something? Or Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. It is, yeah. Fuck it, dude. That if would be it was, a good stripper name, Honestly, though. if I became a stripper <laughs> and I named myself that, holy shit, what a way to disappoint my family. Oh, that would be fantastic. God. You still got to date Seton, though. But it also sounds like a stripper with a dick if I name myself the Velvet Hammer. Yeah. You never right? know. You never know. You never know. Velvet Hammer sounds like a really soft-spoken guy with a huge, hard dick and just fucks you crazy. Right? Ugh. <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's talking about. But Velvet. He's, uh, does it? sound like that, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, what do you want to talk about? Um, so, uh, Rosebud, you're, it's your first time on the show. How would you think of it? Uh, you guys have asked me. Now Now it's really <laughs> I think that was getting, a joke. Just keep think, going. <laughs> I, think that, I think that was the joke, Rosebud. Uh, it's all okay, right. Okay, sorry. I'm not picking up on it. Cool. Don't worry mm, about yeah. it. Are you a big Citizen Kane fan? You must have hear that every day. Every had to go into fucking that. day, shit, man. Well, that shit. Fuck. Jesus yeah. Christ, I thought I could be the one too. friend that didn't bring that up. But, no, uh, broke mm-hmm. that rule. Anyway. Yeah. What's next on the docket? Not that. What are the? Could we either read the chat? Oh, they're going hardcore right now. Uh, are, Panthers hockey says, "Calm guys. down, Deepu." I agree completely. Uh, yeah, Deepu gets very. Like, can you read I'm that antsy. from here? Yeah, I got good vision, baby. Jesus Deepu is like a Christ. dog that's been pent up all day, and then you let him out. <laughs> he's like, "Come on, let's have a show." Dude, yeah, no, it's just man. like my dogs. Oh, it's just relax. Let it let it slow play a little bit, Deepu. What else are they saying when you read that? Latino legend says, "Can we tread any untreaded ground? What is something that hasn't been talked about on the podcast before that we can talk about?" I here? don't think there is a goddamn. Maybe thing. we should bring up the Velvet Hammer. Maybe I shouldn't have fucking shit on that. Yeah. The Velvet Hammer. Yeah. You want to talk about who he is? Okay, the Velvet Hammer is my grandfather, who was uh, Secretary of State. Um, for who? For George Bush Senior. George wow. Bush Senior, and what uh, did he do for so George Bush Junior? So I do come from money. Uh huh. What do you, what do you, you do? You can overcome that. You can overcome. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just hit it. Yeah. Um, do you have like a do you, do you have like a fear of mentioning that because people are going to judge? Like, no, oh. I mentioned it in my set. Um, oh, okay. This is why Rosebud. I think she's getting so funny. She brings it up. You, I saw you I'd stand up talk about that one time, and I was like, you made it funny, and I was like, holy shit, she's bringing up her life. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Which is yeah. what you have to do in stand up. You have to talk about yourself and. Well, that's the whole reason family. I got into stand up is because I was so fucking disappointed with my life. So, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, it was a nice place to just get all that out. Um, you nice. started in New York stand-up. I started in New York. How'd you start? Uh, yeah, what was the first mic you went to? The first mic I went to, actually, was in Austin, Texas, uh, at some, like, coffee house in Austin, Texas. Um, I was doing a road trip with my best friend, who was, like, moving out of New York. Um, I'd had an awful year. Uh, I was uh, uh, just fucking very depressed Mm -hmm. and i had no pride left and no ego and still don't and i was okay well you got an ego a little bit (laughs) of ego all right just doing what i can and then you you did it for how first set 
how was it? Oh God, it was great. I, well, no, it was awful. But I, uh, but when I remember it, it's I'm like, I went up on stage and I wore a cowboy hat and I read my uncle's Facebook page. I read my uncle's Facebook page, uh, which was all riddles. Like he spoke in riddles about like the coyotes have howled at the moon for years and then it's like <laughs> it was like still no answer and then he and then he would end every status with just saying and i and he did that for That's every great. fucking status. i just read like all of his status updates and then i was like uh i think i got like two laughs and i was like all right goodbye uh i was like good night Really? Hey. Cool. <laughs> your uncle's killing it by the way that's a hilarious Dude, he riddle fu he's funny i mean is, he, is your uncle black maniac. sheep of the family or no. you are no I no you say your sister is Dude, there's your it gets that. so much worse than me. Really? I mean, yeah, no, it does. It gets fucking sad. I'm like half bougie and like, and like half fucking trash. And like, it's like one or the other. The, mm. the divide is so strong. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because this is a, a result of marriage for love, right? Like the rich, someone from the well-off side, fell no. in love with some pauper. No, no. no it's just it's really Both more sides are like, rich. It's really more just <laughs> drug addiction because like, oh. there's drug addictions that's just like riddled. Oh, oh through, yeah. sides, through the Baker family? Through the Baker and the Thomas side. Uh, we're, you know, the Thomas side's all in recovery. The Baker side is... No, not in recovery. Working it out. We're, <laughs> working it out. They're trying. And uh, you got to say what the Velvet Hammer did for George Bush Jr. Uh, did I not say that? It no. doesn't really matter, right? You said he was Secretary of State. Secretary of State, he but he was, you know, remember the recount, the 2000 uh, recount oh, yeah. in he, Florida? He's yeah, the one that put the kibosh on he, the he, trial or whatever? On the gore, he was the one that went down and said, ah, no, saying? Bush, like it's like Bush won. They won't it's going to be a lot of hate, you know. I'm it's going to be a lot of hate. There's a lot of this girl's kind of ugly or this girl's kind of hot. And that's what that's they, what they do. For, any, for, anyone, for anyone in the chat room, Rosebud is definitely a 10. I can just say that right now. Well, my personality is. 10, personality, looks, the whole thing. buddy? <laughs> I've been around you a few times where your personality is not the it's brightest. It's been garbage. It's, it's had garbage days, but you know what? Who doesn't? <sighs> I do. I woke up this morning. Oh, my God. I was like, I wanted to die. Today. Why? What happened? I did morning? not think this day was going to get better. I don't know. You know, just, you wake up and you're just like, do I have to? Like... It's still happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? I woke up like, God damn it. Like another one. Another day? Yeah. That doesn't sound I think fun. I wake up on a daily basis like pretty <laughs> suicidal and then the rest of the day is just a climb upward. You know what I mean? It gets better every day, and I go. And by I'm the not gonna the day, lie, I haven't felt that way. Yeah, that's just you. Um, in a long time. Uh, <laughs> really? I mean, like, ever. I haven't gotten depressed since I did I've, comedy. I should stop okay. drinking caffeine. Yeah. Though. I've also I, I wake up and I'm like, oh, today's the day, and then I get like lower. Oh, I would much I get, rather have it. I my get way. lower throughout the day. It's like you know, this fucking happens and that fucking happens, and then you're like, oh, you're shit. And mm. No, you got to start off the way I start off. You got to start off. Start off from the bottom. Now you're here. Start off by, at the <laughs> bottom, and I'm still at the bottom, but I'm feeling better about it. You know feeling what I mean? Better at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. No. I. I don't know. Scopa, where was your first mic? Uh, at Comics in New York City. Oh shit! I've never mm -hmm. been there. Mm -hmm. Then they it's, closed down. They closed down. Uh, I remember comics. Yeah, they closed down. That was before I did comedy, but I remember that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they closed down and then that was it. But how was the I, mic? I, how did it go? Would you, did you go la I bet you got bumped so hard because they're like, this fucking dumb guinea. Oh, he's not going up on, on time. No, not at all. <laughs> they put me right up, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, <laughs> Move out of the way. First timers here. I think I was a third on the list and I went up. Emma Wilman was the MC. I remember that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Of the mic, yeah. Emma Wilman. And then I, had a, I actually got a laugh on a couple jokes. Nice, nice. And then I did my first show there and it was actually really good because it was like, oh, it was a bringer show, basically. You bring your friends and family, and yeah. then I did well, and then after I'm like, this is easy. Do you feel like you did, when you say you did well, are you speaking from your memory of it? Because I feel like if you watched it now. Oh, no, if, like, I, oh, if I watched it now, it's, 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 no, I get, I get last, but they're all like jacked up. It's like doing a TV taping. They're like just excited to be there because they're their, you know, yeah, your friends. Your, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but no, I watched it. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's putrid. It's yeah. absolutely putrid of what, what, I'm, what I'm doing you now. You wish you could puke through the screen onto Oh, it, my, my stage presence is just awful. Yeah. The jokes are just, the setups, you could just see them coming. It just, it was god awful. <laughs> but, you know, you power through it, and that's it. Yeah. What about you, Deeps? What I you never fell for the bringer show thing. I always mm -hmm. knew. That's well, a scam. I'm proud of myself. That's, fucking that's lobby an, fucking I'm, dog. Yeah, right? <laughs> how those, how are those mics treating you? Those mics are, uh, they're getting brutal, baby. Yeah. There's always, there's always the, the joke every. You need to stop doing mics. You're done. You say that, but mm -hmm. then 
I, I see people do tons I of think mics. You need to stop doing mics. I think he, you should always keep. Yeah, not, I think you, you know guys what? keep doing it. Not as many as you do. You do way too many mics. I what was doing a lot. I was. I mean, I was doing like two a day. Two a day. That's like I'd be exhausted after two. It is exhausting. I'm exhausted after one a week. Yeah. Because I also don't like to ask to be put up early because I'm polite. I just kind of wait until when I get drawn or whatever, and then uh, by the end of two, I'm just fucking fried. And I was getting in my head about a lot of shit too. And I talked to you at point at one point, and you were like, "Yo, you gotta fucking just stop doing mics." Mm -hmm. And then I stopped doing mics, and then I felt like I got worse because I was yeah. just like not getting on stage ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? You but, gotta uh, start hanging out that at was shows. Your advice is stop doing mics. You're like, yeah. hey. You know what? If it's not going well, stop yeah. doing comedy. <laughs> Trust me. Basically. I'm Chris yeah. Scopo. Yeah. <laughs> well, well I, I found like an in between. I just do I do mics less frequently. I don't pay for mics anymore. I used to go to some paid mics just because. Why don't you uh, just hang out at shows? Hang out at shows. I, I've been doing that since the beginning, and that's never really helped. Because no. I also, you know, uh, the fact is, I just don't have the confidence to go like, hey, put me, put me on your show, I'll deliver. I always think in the back of my head, like, there's, I, 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 can, I can have a meltdown, I could bomb terribly. Or it could go okay. That's literally what I say before I go on stage every single time. <laughs> before I go, I'm like, I'm gonna, you're going to bomb. Audience? You're going to bomb. No, to myself. I'm like, don't bomb. You're going to bomb. That's what you say to yourself? When you're every single time. Jesus. Before I go on stage. But, you know, you just Why fucking... Why do you do that? Because I'm a psychopath. We're all psychopaths. You're yeah, a psychopath, too. I'm not a psychopath that, uh, well, like, hates myself. Really? You woke up and said, today, another fucking day? That's because I'm tired of life. That's mm. not because I hate myself. Oh, okay. It's because <laughs> I hate life. Okay, it's a big difference. It's exhausting. I mean, you got to be crazy not to. Mm -hmm. so, How much shit there is during that? I got to walk my dogs. I got to, like, I got to respond to text messages. I got to deal with other people. I'm in a relationship. I have to love another human being. That's all, that's all exhausting work. I can tell. Yeah. So I'm trying to read some chat room right yeah. now. Uh, I can't believe you and your vision. That's amazing. I know. I'm going to I'm gonna go blind trying to read at this distance. Oh, read. Let me see this. Yeah. These three look like dog walkers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's one-third true. I've definitely walked dogs. I used to do the same thing, Scopo. These are the walkers. The one on the left definitely is. No, she hates her life. My life rocks. After seeing those, like, weekend update style pieces Deep was making, I was like, ah, fuck whatever that means okay i bet she has a doll collection <laughs> oh my do God. you I do you have a doll, like I have a doll collection you really do you do. i might put that in my house. i went to a <laughs> fucking rich person's house they have a doll room like i realized like i'm nowhere near like i thought maybe maybe i'm white and that's not a rich thing that's like a creepy thing that, no yeah. that's a they had so many fucking rooms in the house they just were like oh we'll just make a doll room because we have dolls because the grandma likes to collect collect dolls it's ridiculous. And they had a pool house. Like, it's just like, you should go sleep by the pool house. I'm like, that's just called a house. I would have room for my dogs, though. I would totally do that. You would have room for the dogs? Because I guess well, they're at least be... living, though. They are living they're things. They are living yeah, things, they yeah. They deserve the best because they're better than humans. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, they're angels. Know. They're infer. angels? Yeah. I believe that. Okay. Well, so are, we, are, are we done here? What's going on? Uh, I mean, you kind of just started... Uh, Scopo remembers what is it? American doll. Um, my grandma thinks she's cute. Okay. Scopo thought he was rich. No, Scopo cute. thought he was like like a white person. I thought I was like white, and then I realized I'm nowhere near being white. What? Uh, can you read one that makes sense though? I mean, these people. They are just like... type. Yeah, you kind of have to screen them in your head. Mm-hmm. You screen them in your head. Deep yeah. Who's better at this than you are? Yeah, he does it more often, so usually that's what happens. Ooh. Mm -hmm. what -oh. oh man. Uh oh. Causing yeah. controversy. Here we go. Does, does, does she know Rosebud has a dyke mullet? <laughs> <laughs> is it really? You do kind of have a dyke mullet. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a mullet. I just got it trimmed. Oh, it's kind of Joe Dirty. It's a little Joe Dirty. What are you talking about? It's Joe Dirty. It's Should I get rid of the bangs? It's a little Joe Dirty. What do you guys think in the chat room? Should we get rid of the what bangs? The fuck? My haircut costs $75. Fuck you, asshole. This is when I get angry. This is when I stop being likable. You're never going to like chat rooms in your career, I'm guessing. Like, no matter where you go, the chat room will probably not be crazy. Or you won't be thinking about Who likes crazy. hanging out in chat rooms except for the fuckers that are in them? I, I like a nice chat room. Uh, Scope, you like chat rooms? No. I think they're the most awful places in the world. They are literally you, where scum... You are the person that likes Reddit. If you like Reddit, you're a fucking loser. I'm sorry. Reddit's okay sometimes. I didn't say it I'm obsessed with it. I guarantee it the is... person who wrote... I'm not going to let go of this. The yeah. person who wrote that hasn't had a haircut in fucking nine years. You think he's living in a basement? Absolutely. Oh, shit. A lot shit. of basement dwellers, for sure. I bet he always looks wet. 
Uh, we're actually going to introduce uh, some new chat room functionality. So maybe I can, like, we're thinking about putting, like, a trivia game in the chat room so we can put up trivia questions about the show. In the chat room. In the chat room. People can uh, uh, submit the answers, and they'll get the, and each user will get points. Okay, what do, they, what do they get? I don't know, just, like, uh, you know, high score, props. Maybe uh, we can give, like, a prize to the winner. But, like, what would be a good trivia question? For the fans. A good trivia question. Why are Rosebud's tits hidden? Something like that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think you should do I would say more yeah. with why the people that are... Why do they look weird is a funnier question. Yeah. Why do they look weird? Yeah. I would think, you know, where was the... Where did Bobby... <laughs> where did Bobby do the show before he did it at the uh, Rycast studio? There you go. What, was that answered today? No, but I know what the answer is, so... Ah. Uh, so do you, do you know Deepu? Uh, where did... Let's hold on. Let's ask, let's oh, ask in them. Oh, in his kitchen. Let... I just said let's ask them. You just asked me. And I, and I just said, hold on, let's ask them. Yeah. Is Scopo dumb? Yes. <laughs> A, yes. B, yes. yes. C, yes. D, crayons. <laughs> that's D funny. D, crayons? That's good. That was a good one. <laughs> uh, oh, that's great. Uh, who, who, who said that? Uh, White Manatee, I think, said that. Whatever White Manatee. The, whatever his name is. Bobby's ask in the chat? D. Poo Trebek <laughs> over there. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Yeah. Uh, who, all right, who was the all right? Who was the guest on our uh, f um, on the second ever YKWd live show oh, downstairs man. at the Village Underground? Who was, was the second? We had two guests on the show actually. Okay. We had the lovely Bailey J. Sure. Who was a bubbler? She's the greatest. And I then we it. had somebody else. Who do, was it? Do you want to let do them they, answer? Yeah. Let's see if let's they see know. Let's see if it comes up. Yeah. I think I know this. I have. I know? wasn't super familiar with podcast. Uh, at, in that era, so I didn't really know like the live show and stuff. We know, we know, we but know. <laughs> yeah, but I remember seeing. Uh oh, of somebody got it. Window Lizard got it. He said it. Norton. Yep, it was Jim Norton. It I was the Jim. It was Jim Norton. Yes, on the show. Scopo, keep trying. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. We, we, you and I both did a lot of trying today. We uh, we, we went through some uh, some trials and tribulations. We always try. We still have forty four. Louis J. Gomez, Stone Cold Entrance Music. Okay, yes, that was not on that show, though. That was on the next show we had in the Upstairs Lounge. Jim Norton, yes, we know. Here's, a, here's a trivia question. Uh, how can we get Scopa to Google shit better during the show? Is there, like, a way to teach him? Um, <laughs> it's never going to happen. Google's been out for a while, yeah. and I'm still a fucking retard. So it doesn't happen. Okay. It's, it's part of the show. Bobby yells yeah, at me. Yeah, it's endearing. Whatever, you know. If you got everything immediately, there'd be nothing to talk about. Like literally. Sam <laughs> it would be fun. Yeah. Except Sam, our other buddy, Sam Rubinoff, who I'd love to have as a guest on the after show. I think he would be yeah. perfect. He's a good fit for the after show. He's, um... We need, we need some fiery power Jews in here. We need, well, he's not powery at all. He would crack, <laughs> under the, he'd crack under the pressure, I feel like. Of the he would, he was having a nervous breakdown the other day about a date. I had a t I was like about talking a Tinder date? about a Tinder date. He was just having a break. He's like, hey, he's like you know, she's oh, not, my hips are hurting. She's not texting me back. <laughs> hey, hey. And I'm like, Sam, let it go. It's whatever, dude. Wait, I need why to get laid. scared that she was listening to the podcast? He's always scared people are listening to the podcast. I'm like, dude, we, Sam, nobody, nobody listens, listens to the to podcast. podcast. No. He's like, she she kicked me out of her apartment. I'm scared she's going to listen to the podcast. I'm like, if she doesn't let you stay on her couch, why is <laughs> yeah. she going to look you up on the internet? He, so he went, to, he went back to her place? Yeah. Are you talking about that? Oh, he was, uh, Sam was, it's just, Sam Rudolph, look him up. He's the funniest fucking guy. I think he's hilarious, but he he's is. He's hilarious. To his, But to he us. is the joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's hilarious. I think he's hilarious to, to his friends. And how because just neurotic he is as a human being. Yep. Yeah. And he doesn't realize he's neurotic. He thinks he's normal. I think he kind of because he's up in the Ruben off a lot lately. What do you mean he's up in the Ruben? He, he's he's just upping his. He's like uh, he's like constantly doing his persona. You know what I mean? It's good. He needs to do his persona more. His What's yeah, the persona you know, like? Squinting like your not, eyes like Woody Allen or something not, like that? Or yeah, kind of. He like, needs to find his. Oh my glasses! He needs to find his inner Jew and bring that out more, and he'll he'll be a beast. Yeah. He, Channel the Jew. That could be fresh. Channel, Channel the Jew is gonna be the name of his <laughs> fucking memoir. Scopo, you never hit me back about sitting on the couch soon. I'm sorry, Ooh, buddy. Ooh! What are you denying up? fans their privilege? Sorry, buddy. Hit me up. He's at Chris, from his couch. Chris dot <laughs> Scopo at gmail dot com, and I will. Uh, Seriously, though, just from this here and the fact that Lauren's not present, there is potential. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man, Lauren doesn't want to hear that. Uh, Lauren is integral to the show. I think this was called the Holocaust. Huh, that was good. The Holocaust? <laughs> I don't get it. The ho oh, man. The, the show, Cast Cost. 
get it. Maybe I read that wrong. I'm a little over time. No, he wrote Holocaust, so fuck this guy. I don't even Oy get it. Alright, guys, thank you. Something that's, about Jews. Yeah, that's been, um, I guess, the post show. The first ever post, post YKWD. I wonder how long we did. I'm not even sure. We're but not, uh, not even sure. We might not have another one. We don't know. I think this could be good. I gotta, I gotta just edit out that insult to Pete Davidson. And, no, uh, you don't. Pete will never hear that in his life. And if I, he, I think he, it actually could find its it way to him. Was it an insult, or were you just talking about one of his jokes? You know what Pete's going to do? Talk about one of his jokes in a, in you know a not what, so great way. Do you way. know what Pete's going to do when he hears that joke? He's just going to check his bank account. He's going to kill my dad in 9-11. I thought you said he did no. a dead dad joke, and <laughs> he killed I, I had a funny <laughs> one. Let it go. Um, he'll check. He's fine. Pete's doing well. Yeah, He's but then LA he'll right have now. some he'll have some chip on his shoulder like this fucking Indian guy. He He's just some tech dude. Who the fuck does he, he think he is? He's never remember, remember who, you are. who you are. He's busy. He remembers you. Yeah, because I started with him. He's busy doing famous. I started people. with him. He started the same week, apparently. He's do busy doing famous people shit, which mm -hmm. doesn't involve anyone in this room. Trust True. me. He's famous. Okay. So he's perfectly fine. All right. Well, I, I, I certainly hope so. You so. didn't even insult not him. remember this at all. Can we just get back to the fact that he didn't insult? Did not insult him. Yeah. This is where Deepu, I didn't, but here's Deepu, the thing. Deepu gets crazy that he thinks that like people are gonna attack him in the streets, yeah, for yeah. stuff he says. It's like nobody gives a shit. Uh, you know these Italians they come after you, bro. Just because he didn't say no disrespect See, eight times. See, someone said stop being afraid of everyone, Deepu. Oh, that's and then, sweet. And then I show up every week to the ball bustiest show on the planet. I'm not afraid. I let it happen, baby. Oh, no, Bring it on. Okay. <laughs> I got shit on by the chat room all day today. Curry this, curry that. Well, you deserve it, Deepu. I know. Uh, we got to end this because yeah. my pitch is sweating. Jesus. Uh, Even though I'm, I'm ready to go for like another hour, but, you know, whatever. I got to get home, Rosebud. Can I just talk to, to the camera by myself? To what You can do whatever you want. Buddy, oh, but that'd be great. getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, I have, you have to go walk your dogs. Yeah. Charlie and Bama. Charlie and Alabama. Or you could hire one of us. <laughs> or I could hire one of you guys. Or I could hire myself. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> that was directed to all of us. Nice. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so where can Rosebud. they find you again, Rosebud? Oh, uh, find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rosebud Baker. And if you care to listen to our podcast, it is uh, Netflix Campfire Podcast on iTunes. Soon to be revamped. We're going to change that up a little bit. Okay. You we're know not, what? You just got brought we're not on as a host, buddy. Take yeah. it down a notch. We're, we're going to make it. Dial it back a little bit. I can't do Netflix Campfire, and then we don't discuss any Netflix. Let's make it the Campfire. Listen, we're talking about what we watched during the week. So this week I talked about fucking Bachelor in Paradise because that's all I felt like. You watched watching. The Bachelor. Bachelor in Paradise. It's when you take all the losers and you put them on an island. Hilarious. Fucking amazing show. Hilarious. Amazing show. Yeah. Yeah. Structurally, it is. Uh, <laughs> now, what is funny? Do they, amazing. Do, do they? Is there one Bachelor or it's just all the losers? It's all the losers. And they have to. What do they have to compete? There's one guy that actually won. But then they broke up, and she wrote a scathing book about him, about how he was abusive, and he's on the show this week. What, what do they compete for shit? Are they they it? compete to, like, to like find a match, right? So it's just, like, a bunch of people. Who, it's like musical chairs, you know what I mean? Like, you mm -hmm. find, you find a, somebody that you, you can fuck for the week, and then, you know, it's all under the whole, like, oh, we're going to get married at the end. But, like, nobody ever gets... I guess people get fucking, you know, engaged. But I think there's, like, been one couple that en ends up... I, the point is... It's hysterical and it's genius yeah. as uh, as far as like a show goes. It's a masterpiece in editing. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> it's fantastic. Good Bachelor in Paradise. Check that Bachelor out, guys. In Paradise. What are they saying? Are they shitting on it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, who was I just see my name written? Ooh, who was the that worst? Who was the worst guest ever on YKWd? Ooh, um, man, I, I want to just. There's been some bad. Uh, it has to be that I wasn't uh, actually on the show at the time. Mm -hmm. It has to be the guy that got up in the middle of the show. He was on. He was from Facebook, mm -hmm. and Bobby, <laughs> I guess, I guess, started talking about dicks like right, right away. Yeah. <laughs> the guy. That's not. That's not the, the worst guy, guest. The though. guy just got up and was like, "Nah, nah, I can't do this. Can't do this." And he walked out of the room. That's hilarious. Yeah. He, has to he be didn't the know worst what he was getting guest. into. Yeah. Why is he so scared about talking about dick? Because he's afraid Facebook would find out and they would fire him. Yeah, you don't want to leave that gig. Uh, but oh, I mean, who was the worst? Who was? The, I think the question was like, who was the worst it's performer? I'm really fucking self-conscious about my hair. I'm never. I can never read anything. No, nah, you look great. Um, yeah. Who was the worst guest? I think the, this must precede See, this the DP era. A comic, yeah, you're neurotic. Zero self-esteem. Real self-esteem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People are like, oh, comics are really brave. No, we're not. Yeah, they'll say... Uh, we're fucking... We're, 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 like, constantly just on a thread. Oh, yeah. 
I did a show, and this guy, like, I did a show with Schultz, and mm-hmm. then it, Pe- Schultz has, like, a big fan base, so they come out, and they follow me after, the guy hit me up, was, like, talking to me, he's like, yo, man, comics, really, though? They say some of the most brilliant shit ever. I was like, what, what? are you talking about? We're all psychopaths. We know nothing what we're talking about. We say we ramble on all day, That's and maybe one or yeah. two, thi- one or two good things come out of a comic's mouth a day. Everything else is like bullshit. I would argue. Yeah. That I'm not talking about myself, yeah. but I will mm-hmm. say that a lot of gems come out of comics' mouth. I think it's, I think it's honestly that they're not necessarily responding to what the person's saying, so much as like uh, the rhythm that they're saying it in. You know what I mean? Probably. It's a good joke. Yeah. All we're doing is taking regular people thoughts and putting them into a structure that can be, you know, recognized as like, oh, that's funny. But like people think it's magic and it's not. It's just, it's just structure. Very true. You know? All right. We're wrapping up. I don't know what up. the fuck we're talking <laughs> about, See, by the way. Exactly. I've only been doing comedy for three years, so fuck we're at, uh, Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, just wait, wait, wait. What about my plugs, baby? What are we- Oh, what's your plug? You just plugs? did her plugs and we're like, are you saying goodbye? Because she was the guest of the show, Deepu. That's, That's true. why I did it. Well, they probably. I just want to just mention once again that You're tomorrow... You're going to be talking to the camera by yourself, right? Uh, no, we're ending. I, right? Yeah, I think we're going to just end it. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe one day, uh, once you... Once you're not here, and once Lauren's gone, uh, I'll just talk to the camera by myself. Mm, Deepu already has plans. I got big plans, baby. Big plans. Scopo and the the Deepu and the Cam. It's gonna be the name of the show. Mm -hmm. Um, Just want to remind everybody that 7 p.m. tomorrow, if you're listening live, uh, I'll be doing an interview with the developers at Abitron Games uh, for their new game coming out in the next couple weeks. So that should be interesting. We're gonna just uh, try and make a good show out of that. And then Twitter and Instagram are too deep. Tweet at us. Let us know how the post show went. I'm sure it's not going to be great. Yes, but, uh, tweet handle. at us, at Chris Cope. Yeah, He has a good Twitter handle, right? Yeah, it's great. It's a good one. It's a great Twitter handle because it tells people exactly how to pronounce my name, but it also puts me in this, like, uh, puts me in this, like, thing where, like, I'm an assistant. Because that's what R2-D2 was. He was, like, this helpful little thing. No, that's just your psychopath. Nobody knows that. Yeah, your psychopath oh, is taking no, over. No, people kind of, like, assume, nope, people nope, kind of make we, a connection, like, oh, he's, like, just have, a little no, robot we have, droid. We have two people here that we did not think of that at all. <laughs> I've known you for a Well, you've never seen Star Wars. I've, so. I have I was seen like, Star oh, Wars. Oh, he loves Star Wars. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. He's a, he's a geek. You're yeah. a geek, but not an assistant geek. Okay. You well, can be that's the head very geek. specific knowledge. I, yeah. pr- I appreciate you saying that because mm-hmm. I was I was in my head about that a lot. What's what yeah. what do you got, Chris? What are your plugs? What do I got? Nothing. Just get me. You know, I have shows all out this throughout the city. If you want, yeah. If you go to your website, you got you got dates every fucking week, baby. I, I got dates, but I you know I don't plug them because I'm an idiot and also I'm not headlining, so I feel I shouldn't plug them. But yeah, I got dates. Uh, October seventh and eighth, I'll be actually in Laugh Boston with Andrew Schultz. I'll be with Lewis the twenty ninth in Connecticut somewhere. Look at you. Yeah, I got I got stuff, you know, going on. So thanks guys for hanging out. What do I do, Depot? Thank shut this you. Down. We'll just uh, we'll take care of it from here. Have a nice night. See you guys Good later. Night.